Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where we are currently dealing with this civil war going on over here. And we've grouped back up again. I really don't like the fact that these Carpet Siege units are grouping up. It's costing us time, money, and manpower that they're all choosing the same location. So we'll just tell them to come on over this way instead. And we're just cleaning up these last little areas. It's not going to be a big deal. Hey, that's a city. Okay, let's take a look at our missions here. Um, All of them are cities, but we need them all to be fortified. Okay, so we need a fort here and a fort here. Perfect. We'll allow it. As far as this up here goes, I feel like we don't need these mercs. I'm going to get rid of them. And these guys are on carpet siege, but I'm going to tell them to come on up here and catch that force. Wonderful. Do we have any other mercs over here? I don't believe so. We can go ahead and go on to Carpet Siege. Fantastic. And that is all wonderful. Yeah, they have a few troops up here. That's for sure. But I don't think we care. Realistically. We do want to crush these mercs. Like, right now. Get in there. Before they get morale. That's going to be very important to us. They don't have the morale for this, so this will be perfect. There we go. We didn't kill all their troops, but that is, I guess, completely okay. We'll have these guys spread out a bit. In fact, they're going to come up over here. And these guys can come in. Actually, come up and deal with this force. That'll be okay. I'm going to have these guys actually switch over to defend borders, as well as these guys switch to defend borders. Hopefully that will keep us from having these issues. I hope anyway. Okay, so we've capped here. We're going to continue to head up this way and cap in those last few locations over there. I'm a little surprised actually about how low our war score is right now. That is a little surprising to me considering the fact that this war is pretty much under control now. These guys are heading down over this way. Okay. An interesting choice, to be sure. And it is just this army up here that is manually controlled right now. We're going to head on up, and we may see their mercs over here. If we do, I'm going to chase them immediately, because I don't want them to gain morale. Korean Civil War has ended. Great. Good for them. Do we see them over here? Yes, we do. As I said, we go in immediately because I don't want them to get any more morale than they have. Or any troop recovery, for that matter. They have a pretty good number of troops up here. So we are definitely going to attack them ASAP. And over here, we can see that our defend border troops are just kind of chilling. We can colonize this territory, and that is definitely something that I'm going to do. Excellent. And we won this battle, as expected. They're almost certainly retreating to here. We're just going to cap this and then come follow them. Hopefully we'll stack wipe them. They have nowhere to go. So this should be absolutely wonderful. Yes, they can have that food. I'm okay with this. I'm actually shocked that that didn't stack wipe. Under Europa rules, that certainly would have stack wiped because it was under the, what is it, 12 days for the battle duration. So, yeah, that certainly would have happened. Well, let's get these last few areas capped back. Once again, no stack wipe. And it's because of the troop numbers, right? That is 100% of what's happening here. But we're just going to continue chasing these guys. In fact... I'm going to put them on defend borders here. Oh, well, that's a stack wipe. And a second stack wipe. Perfect. So we can now move these guys down here. They're actually done up in this area now. That's another stack wipe over here. Perfect. I'm not sure where they're going next. You guys are just kind of wandering around, and that's okay. They can do that. We've basically put down this entire revolt at this point. These are mercs. I'm going to get rid of them. They are no longer necessary. 
Fantastic. And these mercs over here, I'm going to keep them for now. They're still capping in this area, so that'll be fine. These guys are... I'm going to just switch them over to drilling. And where are these guys headed? Ah, they're headed down to defend from this. Gotcha. That's reasonably okay. I don't mind that. These guys are going to go ahead and head over somewhere where they won't take attrition, ideally. Yeah, somewhere like here will be completely okay. And then... Yep, these guys are headed down. That's fine. We can go ahead and drill here and get some recovery done. 1.28% attrition. We're actually going to move down over here. That'll be fine. And these guys have arrived at their destination, and we're going to go ahead and drill them. Wonderful. The Saba of Africa here is not really doing anything. Are they taking attrition here? They're not. So I'm going to go ahead and drill them for now as well. And it looks like we're going to just cap some territory back here. And that will be the end. I'm really shocked that we're only at 43% war score right now. But I mean... We're just going to completely annex them, so that's the way it's going to be, I guess. I would love to attack these guys with the war goal that Rome declared on us. Like, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, we do not have access to that war goal. Which does make me quite sad. But this will be the end to this particular civil war. And that'll be fine. So we'll get rid of these mercs right now. We no longer need them. And this army here. Excellent. Hmm. Military purge. That's a lot of provincial loyalty. Let's do it. That's 10 stability as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, people who rebelled were put to death. I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll be fine. We do need someone in this office here, and ooh, our top one is an oligarch. I like it. This guy, um Sure. I, I don't actually care all that much. This army should no longer be automated, most likely. Where is it going? Let me just come up to here, I think. Well, actually, maybe to here. Yes. That'll be fine. So I wouldn't necessarily mind ditching these fortresses. Perfect. And we'll get these guys drilling just as soon as we arrive there. Fantastic. We can call down our monthly tyranny reduction, and that's definitely something that we will do. And once these guys arrive, we will also set them to drilling. We're probably not going to fight for a little while here. I mean, for one thing, we need a CV. And I would not necessarily mind attacking these guys. Who are their allies? Ooh. They're allied with the big boys up here. I don't hate that. Let's go ahead and start fabricating on them. It'll be a little while before that's ready, but that's okay. That seems absolutely fantastic. I'm completely okay with that. We did fabricate on these guys, didn't we? Yeah, but I think RCB has expired. They're also in an alliance with these guys. That might be a useful thing for us. We'll have to think about that. Because that essentially means we might be able to fight these guys multiple times. And I would love for that to be the case. These guys over here are currently on automation. We'll take them off of that. And these guys are not drilling, and they absolutely should be. And none of them are taking attrition. Perfect. We don't need any more troops to replenish our armies. That was a pretty painless civil war, all things considered. I like it. Thracian civil war has ended. And in terms of the Senate here, the traditionalists do have control. They like to be at peace, huh? Okay, well, we can go ahead and complete this mission. Next, Corsica needs at least two markets in each port. Okay. That's something that we can mostly do. 
can get a building slot here, or... Actually, I can't cancel it, but what we could have done also is we could have removed that fortress, and that's what I'm going to prefer doing, of course. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that in all of these. Okay, there we go. So there's the two marketplaces underway. What else do we need? Let's see here. We need Sulky to have a city status. Where is this? Okay, that's down here. So it will need to have a training camp and a marketplace. We can ditch its fortress for now, and we can put in a marketplace, and then we can ditch... Actually, we can put in a religious endowment and come back to that. That'll be okay. The Saba of Italia does need a leader, and so we will put in ideally a Gizgo or Barkid. Are these all Democrats? So far they are. This guy is a traditionalist, but he's the only option, and he's only skill 3. I'm going to put in a Gizgo skill 9 to hopefully have them no longer be scorned. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. What else do we need in here? Oh, actually, these are one or the other. Sure. So we're going for the regimental city, I guess. That'll be fine. Actually, we could go for either. A marketplace and two libraries? Actually, that's all we need then, is a single marketplace for Merchant of Sulky. I'm fine with this. And then, of course, we need to come up here, and when this pr this promoting local investment finishes up, then we'd be able to queue this up. But it's already queued, so that's great. What else do we need in here? So this one is going to need a granary in Sulky. Sure. Are we going to need two marketplaces? No, we're not. Okay, so as soon as this promoting local investment finishes in March, then we're going to want to put in our granary. That'll be okay. And that is, let's see, which one of these buildings? I can never remember. This one. This one right here. Sure. That seems absolutely fine. The Saba of Italia does need a leader while we're waiting on that. And... Why would it? Just because we didn't put the Gizgo guy in. That's why. So we can now grab Merchant of Sulky, and that is definitely something that we will do. Perfect. And Growth of Sulky. So now we will need that granary, which is, of course, this structure here. So that will complete Growth of Sulky, and then after that, we need to work on this. A lolly needs to have a foundry building, which is this one over here. And we can definitely do that. It's a good thing, actually, that we put in the, re the religious endowment here. That works perfectly. We'll go ahead and put that in as quick as we can. After that, what are we going to need? Just construct flagship. Okay, sounds good to me. And then we'll be able to finish up Growth of Italia relatively simply. So that'll be that mission completely done. In the meantime, of course, we are working on fighting these guys a bit, and we should probably position for that. I'm going to come up over here. I kind of don't care about these attrition numbers, in all honesty. I feel like we're making enough troops that the attrition doesn't really matter. I'm going to have these guys position over here to invade Arvernia, because that is going to be fairly important. And these guys will position up over here. And we'll just get them in position. We'll have that claim soon enough. The Senate is still not supporting us. This is not a shocker, of course. How are we doing on our senatorial manipulations, anyway? That's actually working quite well. And I do want to check in on our families here. Ooh, it looks like we could revoke from the Gizgos. Absolutely. Do it. We're going to revoke a bunch of things here. Is he just capped at 90 loyalty? Oh, it's capped at 90 because of him not being a Canaanite, so he's actually above 90. So we can probably revoke every single one of these, in fact. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we can definitely revoke all of these. Fantastic. Okay, how many others can we revoke? So that's the Gizgo done. The Hanid. Do they have any? Yes, they do. 
And we can revoke everything that they've got. Fantastic. What about the Bodenid? They have a lot. Okay. We're probably not going to be able to get all of them. But we can get a good number of these. We'll just bring this guy down to about, if we can, about 33. In terms of his loyalty. So we'll do one more, and that's all that we can do for now. Fantastic. And then... That was this guy. So the Barkid now, they don't have any holdings. And the Ahiram, they don't have any holdings either. So it's actually literally only the Bodenid that now have holdings. Fantastic. I'm very happy about that. We'll complete our port markets and the shipyards we will finish up momentarily here. I don't want to I, I don't want to recruit this. I'm just trying to click here to reset that. Fantastic. Okay, that guy died. Sure. He was the governor of Contestania. And we'll put in a new one. Ten approval from Democrats. Yeah, that's to be expected. All of these guys. Oh, there is an oligarch in here. Okay, we'll put in the oligarch. Even though he's not the best skill, it'll be completely fine. We can now do Growth of Sulky. Fantastic. There we go. And then shipyards is what we're waiting on. Of course, we should be already constructing a forge up here. We, we now have our CB. Oh, we're not building a foundry. Well, we can put in our province investment in a lolly. That'll be okay. And then we could go to war up here, but our troops are still moving into position. So I think we're going to hold off on that for the moment. But we'll definitely declare on that quite, quite soon. I swear I queued up a foundry here, but apparently not. I guess because the building slot filled up. That does make me sad, to be sure. Well, there's an election going to be soon. Ia Hiram is the leading candidate. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. That's a real cheap library. We'll do it. Excellent. That is very, very good. Now, Carthage is not a metropolis currently. Or no, it is a metropolis. Yeah, it is a metropolis. That's completely fine. I'm thinking about how I want to do upgrades right now. We've banked up a good amount of political influence. Maybe we want to change some laws, though. We have Senate support as well. Fascinating. Now, this guy's not an oligarch, and that's okay. Assembly of soldiers. We could abolish assemblies for that sweet, sweet 5% monthly political influence. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Excellent. And then let's go ahead and use some of this additional political influence on pig stabbing. There we go. Pretty happy about that. And we're getting into position for these invasions. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting very, very close. We do need an oratory researcher, and we'll put in this guy. He's the most qualified. No one else in the top five. Well, this guy is actually a traditionalist, but that's a five charisma delta here. We'll put this guy in. Excellent. I mean, realistically, how much do we actually care about the Democrats taking control? That's the real question, right? So, that is definitely what I'm wondering. We can probably keep them on our side through title revocations, at least for now. But that won't be a forever sort of thing. So we'll definitely have to consider that. However, we are in position now for this war. And that's great. I do want to check in over here. Perfect timing. We just got our slot available. So we'll take that, we'll get that started, and we will go ahead and declare our war on these guys. Now, our Arvernia here is going to come in. Santonia and Pictonia are all going to come in. I would like to take all of these and maybe some of this up here, but I kind of feel like leaving this area because of fighting these guys. 
It's an interesting action, isn't it? I like it. We're going to go ahead and declare this, and we are going to... We are currently fabricating a claim on these guys, right? Or do we have to not... We already have claims. Sure. We're going to go ahead and come in here, and... This is interesting. I guess we're just going to run up to this capital. Begin sieging these forts like that. Sure. And maybe we should hire a merc force. Like, we could hire, say... These are kind of small merc forces. Ambaria, huh? Okay. We could just have this army here. Our fifth army. This could go on to defend borders. I think that'll be okay. They'll respond to any attacks that way. And that should be fine. We'll attack over here. And we should get these sieges done quasi-quickly. I mean, not tremendously quick, right? But somewhat quickly. We're definitely winning these battles. This is not shocking to me. This was entirely expected. I'm going to put these guys here on carpet siege. No, I'm not. They're not carpet sieging very smartly. We're going to come up over here instead, and I'll just manually run this war. Yeah, Carpet Siege is useful in some situ situations. I don't believe this is one of them. I like how these guys are still just chilling over here. <laughs> it's pretty great. Okay, and we've taken this. We're going to come down here and begin our siege. That's perfect. And we're going to have to come up this way as well. That is a set of mercs there. And we should start responding to that relatively soon. I think, with these guys. I'm going to tell them to start heading over this way, but also be on defend borders. Never mind, they're just... They went right back to drilling. Okay. I guess that's fine. There's a lot of troops swarming around over here, for sure. Not, I think, anything that we can't handle, to be clear. We won this siege. That's great. And we won this siege. That's also great. Up we go. And what exactly happened over here? Oh, I see. They're sieging this back. Because we went down this way. Right. Let's bring in these two armies and bring them together. And we'll see if we can force these guys into a confrontation. It looks like we can. So that'll be great. Because I'd like to clean up some of these armies that they've got. This is definitely a big fight. We knew it would be. We're fighting the big boys here. That's okay. That is completely fine. These guys at this point should be moving, right? Now they're just kind of chilling. Okay. Well, we can get our shipyards over here and start working on constructing a flagship. We also get a new invention and... Oh, we need to have selective immunity as well to go down this, don't we? Yes, we do. Sad. Sad. We'll take the 25% research efficiency, though. That's actually even better for us than the 10% down here. Yeah. Actually, that's maximum versus output. Ah, eh, whatever. Close enough. We're going to come up over here and give battle. Because we need to fight these guys as much as we can. These guys are just not defending borders. We're going to have them walk on over this way. I think they might be too far away. So that'll be fine. I don't actually care that much about what's going on over here, but I do want to fight these enemies. So we'll definitely work on that. As soon as this siege finishes up, we'll have these guys freed up as well. Excellent. That guy's now known as the Conqueror. And once his army arrives over here, do we want to force march them? Not really. I, I don't think we need to force march them. I think it's completely fine. Okay, we won this siege. That is perfect. We're going to come over here and fight these guys. These guys are just kind of running around. That's okay. We don't mind this. We have troops here. We're going to attack there. And we're going to fight as many of these armies as we can. Wonderful. There's a lot of little forces over here, aren't there? Like, a whole lot of little forces over here. Uh, 
that's fine. We pretty much expected that. We're going to intercept as many as we can over here. They just keep reinforcing this. I mean, we're not hugely shocked by them having a lot of troops. We knew that this was going to be one of the tougher wars. That's fine. We're going to continue fighting over here. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue our struggle against these guys. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.